Alternative Radio. On this episode, Missy and I are talking about New Year's resolutions and expectations. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of On Finding Peace, and this is the podcast where Missy and I talk about daily life tips that can help lead us to our own inner peace and happiness in life, and today we are talking about New Year's. Uh, should wish everybody a happy New Year, uh, so we are recording this uh, somewhat after um, January 1st, so here we are, 2021. And typically, many people talk about their resolutions and start their resolutions on January 1st or 2nd. Uh, scientifically or unscientifically, I don't know. But yesterday, which, what would that date have been? I guess the 13th. Uh, yesterday is considered the break day for resolutions. So they have determined that people at around this point of January stop doing what their resolutions are. Uh, so if you are listening to this and you are continuing your resolution, you're ahead of the curve. Um, <laughs> but we figured we'll talk a bit about how you can maybe keep those resolutions and talk a bit about resolutions themselves. All so right. how are you doing, Missy? Happy New Year. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you very much. How about yourself? Yeah, so far a, a good new year. Uh, things are, are going well on you know different fronts. So no complaints so far for this year. Now you know, unfortunately, when we look you know at what a year ago today, you know yeah. what were we thinking? <laughs> so yeah, it was a free world then, wasn't it? <laughs> um, so do you? It, do you it just kind of we. I'm sorry, do you, do you yourself, do you make resolutions every year? Not every year, and I don't always do it at the beginning of the new year. It, it seems that I, I try to make some as they pop up. Uh, last year, and very poor timing, but last year, a um, little bit of months before all the lockdown COVID stuff happened, um, I got into a diet routine, and it seemed to have been working. And, you know, we started uh, taking off those nice pounds that were put on. Uh, and then the COVID and, and the isolations and the quarantines and, you know, couldn't get all the health foods I was getting, and I just slipped right back into... <laughs> Comfort, right? So, yeah. Yeah, so that went out the window, um, but... That was a mix of my doing and a mix of world events. So, right. How about you? Yeah, Do you I, I don't, have a routine of really. resolutions? No, I don't. No, I'm not at all. And and the funny thing is, I think that you know, I got a lot of strange looks this year because um, I didn't really decide on any resolutions. But um, lifestyles change, and I'm going to give this a shot for a year. So everybody's. Uh, um, I, I don't do drugs, so no drugs, but no alcohol, no caffeine. Uh, no red meat and no pork. Mm. So I'm trying that for, for the year. And um, believe it or not, I thought it was going to really be difficult because I definitely <clears throat> enjoy my glass of wine. Um, you know, I love having a beer with my dad, you know, things like that. My dad actually told me he was going to disown me, <laughs> jokingly, of course. <laughs> but but um, um, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. And, and honestly, there was for me, I, like there was some buildup for me. Like I really had to work up to like, okay, I'm not going to be having any hamburgers. I'm not going to be having it. I'm not going to, and I've cut, like, I have, I have not had any junk food, so to speak all year long either. Um, that's not necessarily something I'm saying, Hey, I'm going to go the whole year without, but I really wanted to, to tone that back. 
And um, so chocolate almond milk has been like my my guilty pleasure. Uh, and it's funny that you said that yesterday was the day that most people kind of like fall off because yesterday I was really cra craving some chocolate. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, this is killing me. Um, but but otherwise it's it's really been easy. And and I honestly, again, here's your expectations part of it is like I really set it up in my mind like uh, this is what I'm going to do and it's going to be easy and and I'm just going to get it taken care of and it's only 365 days like it's only a year you know and um and and I think with that mentality with that belief that it was like well it's only a year you know it, um that has made it really easy um so I'm eating a lot of chicken because I'm not a big huge seafood eater um but but finding different ways to make chicken or finding ways to make in turkey too I can have that but but finding ways to be creative with it, what I would have used beef before or pork or, or something like that. Um, it's been really fun, actually. It's been challenging and it's, mm. it's allowed me to be creative with it. So, um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me this year. Uh, did you set any for yourself this year, per se, or? Nope. <laughs> no. Yeah, if you're watching the video, I was shaking my head. Uh, no, and I'm listening to yours, you know, wishing you all the best of luck of with course. that. And I'm thinking <laughs> I would have ended way before yesterday. Uh, yeah. That well, would have been a day or so. Yeah, I, I think most people are like, you gave up coffee? And I'm like, well, I, I drink decaf anyway. And they're like, what's the point in drinking coffee? And I'm like, I, it wasn't the caffeine. It was the flavor. I really liked And it was more the flavor of the creamer than it was the coffee. So um, uh, definitely would start me off on a sugar rush all day. And so then that I was like, oh, well, if I wanted this, I would have this or that. Um, so so yeah, it definitely makes me, I feel good right now. So, and, and I'll, I'll keep yeah. you guys informed on how I progress throughout the year. <laughs> and, and, and seriously, I, I do hope for, you know, the best and that you can meet your goals. Um, but I, I think that is what comes into when we talk about the expectations and um, because I know for me, had I done the same thing, there, there's no way that yeah. that wouldn't even come anywhere near working um so and more so the caffeine i i think the yeah the alcohol isn't a huge deal for me so i miss it but right. that that's not a huge deal uh the caffeine is, is a no-go um and the meat would be a tough one that yeah. that would be oh and i love pork i'm pretty cool with yeah, no big deal, right? Well, that's what I'm thinking, you know, I, 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 I love burgers. burgers. I love and... beef, yeah. And, and so uh, my dinner, um, at my anniversary was actually January 1st. And um, my dinner on uh, New Year's Eve was a filet mignon. <laughs> you know, like I, I was like, okay, we're having dessert. We're having it all tonight. I'm just like, you know, there's no, no holes barred here. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it was good. And it was enough to, you know, like, I, I, it's okay that I don't have it. Like, I don't feel like I'm lacking anything. But, right. I mean, I don't want to make this all about me. But, you know, I can see how people can, you know, very easily get discouraged, um, you know, because the cravings, you know, it's easy to have those cravings. But I wonder sometimes if the cravings aren't more from the habit, you know, the habit that we yeah. formed of, you know, have to have coffee every day or have to have the caffeine every day. Now, I enjoy coffee. So that was something like I, I have to remember that I'm not taking this away because I don't want to enjoy life. It's, you know, it's more for spiritual and health reasons that I've chosen to do this, you know? Right. Um, and, and that's yeah. really what makes the, the big difference, you know, is when I look at people who are making resolutions or just, you know, throughout the year, you try something, you know, like, like right. with me last year, it was March. Well, no, probably like mid February when I started. Um, and I think part of it is that it really needs to originate from each of us, you know, re resolutions that are more so pushed on people, you know, like you, you have to do this, you have to do that, or, yeah. you know, threatening to do it. That, that's, it, it's an internal. Um, so that, you know, really helps. And, and then the expectation of, you know, can you reasonably do what it is that you want to do um 
Now that can always be overcome. Like what I'm saying, you know, I, I would never do what, what you were doing now. <laughs> can that be overcoming in me? Oh, definitely. You know, and, and if I had a client who, you know, would say the same thing, you know, I would never be able to do what this is doing. Yeah. What I would say is, all right, you can't do that today, but let's work on how do we get you prepared and in some small steps, get you to that goal. Well, so, you know, what it, you know, you can look at your bigger goal and separate it. Yeah. What, what it boils down to is it's a belief, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and uh, you know, I, I there's a, a lady who has a YouTube video. If anybody's interested, I'd be happy to share it with you. But what she says is, is like... Your body is a riverbed, okay, and and the flow of of life or God or whatever you want to call it is is the water running through that riverbed, and the boulders mm. or the little pebbles are the beliefs. So we want to make our beliefs as little as pebbles because the boulders will actually block the flow of of what you have that's able to you know be flowing to you. So so if we can take that belief that you know you can't do without coffee and turn it into I could probably do without coffee. And then maybe next week it's like, yeah, I don't need coffee anymore. You know, it's, it's just a little bit at a time rather than, well, we're going to eat the whole sandwich in one bite or, you know, something like yep. that. So, so it's yep. just altering those beliefs to see if it's possible. Exactly. And taking it in small chunks, you know, you, you took on a lot and that's something <laughs> that you feel that you can do. Um, but, you know, if somebody like me, you know, what my suggestion then would be is, you know, pick and choose right now. What are you going to do first? Right. You know, and, and I would probably take the easy ones, you know, like, uh, I guess out of that list, you know, the pork and alcohol would be where I would start. Um, you know, and then you begin to wean yourself off of, you know, the other ones. Um but part of what you know you were mentioning, and then I love that illusion of of the you know boulders and the pebbles with with the water, because you know I, I do want to shift perspective, and you know one of the things we can look at is, you know, what does your current behavior, the one that you want to change, or the mindset that you want to change, what is it actually doing for you? Right. It's usually doing something, you know, so if we take caffeine, you know, so why are you taking caffeine every morning? And then a lot of people say, well, to wake me up. Okay. Yes and no. Um, because at some point, the caffeine level just levels out in your body and it may not be keeping you awake. Right. right. You know, so what does it do for you? You know, and we can start talking about, you know, routines or taste or it makes me feel a certain way. So you can look at, well, what are healthier options that would do the exact same thing? Oh. So are there healthier <laughs> options? <laughs> do they work? <laughs> I don't care what you say. It's not the same. I've tried. I really okay, have ignore tried some things. <laughs> Sorry, ignore me. Ignoring Missy. Uh, <laughs> no, but, no but, but you're right, though, because we're not going for the exact yeah. So we're not finding, you know, the exact coffee substitute because if we, if you look for the exact substitute, you just keep doing coffee. Yeah, no, no. Well, you know, so why, you're right. There isn't a true one. No, and 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 I not to not to interrupt because I do understand what you're saying. Find a healthier alternative, right? And so I really yeah. have to find, like I I enjoy chocolate almond milk. You know, it's not chocolate milk. It's not coffee, but. It satiates the chocolate that I enjoy. It satiates the sweetness that I'm looking for. And, you know, hey, I can heat that up if I wanted to and make it a, a morning drink. But, you know, I probably have a half a cup maybe every couple of days, you know. Um, mm -hmm. and it, not that it matters to you guys. I'm just saying that for me, it makes me feel like, oh, I'm not missing out. Right. And right. because that's what it leads to me to believe is like people think I'm missing out. And, and, and then in turn, I kind of go like, well, am I missing out? Like if I'm missing out, well, screw it. I'm just going to do it. You know? And, um, it's, it's like my, yeah. my mom always says, what kind of weird crap are you doing now? You know? And, and so, <laughs> so that's in my head sometimes like, how weird is this that I'm doing this? It's probably very strange and and abnormal to a lot of people but at the same time I felt ready for it like it wasn't something I was going well I'm gonna diet I'm gonna do keto I'm gonna you know whatever um 
it was just a choice to make and, and say, look, this is what I'm going to try for. A while. I mean, I've tried vegan, I've tried vegetarian, I've, you know, and those things I didn't think were a fit. Right now, I feel like, okay, I still have a meat and I still have the option to, you know, have the things that I enjoy having without making me feel like I'm suffering as a result. And I think, yep. I think that's part of it is that, is that when we have a resolution, there's some sense of that we're suffering if we don't have what we want. Yep. You know, and I think that's why and, people quit. Oh, yeah. Because we don't want a resolution to be suffering. No. All of this really is about how do I make myself healthier? How do I find inner peace? And you're not going to find inner peace if you're doing things that make you suffer. No. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that's not, you know, a healthy motivation. Um, and if at some point, like, let's say, you know, you, you said, well, I have to exercise more. And, you know, people are going to the gym and then you start to realize this is suffering. This is, well, then start to ask yourself, what part of it is suffering? You know, right. is it the exercise? Is it the time you need? Is it the time you're doing it? Because those things can be modified. So is, is the suffering you're getting up too early? You know, can you exercise at a different time? Um, you know, can you cut your exercise, you know, down to maybe a half hour instead of hour? Um, look at those things. Well, do you think also that it may mean, you know, like, I feel like, like what I'm doing takes commitment, right? And so, mm -hmm. so I feel like, you know, um, there, there's actually in a class I took, there's like different levels of commitment, like, like level seven was like, you are fully committed. There is, you know, you are a, a stand for this happening. Right. And, and so that's where I feel like I am. And I also feel like that's the reason why it's so easy. Right. It's, I don't feel like yeah. I'm suffering at all. I don't feel like I'm missing out. But if I was like a level one committed and I'd be like, eh, which I have been plenty of times before, you know, and giving up, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah, well, maybe tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. Right. And and so I'm sure we've all done that. Like, well, I'll quit smoking tomorrow or I'll quit eating junk food tomorrow or, you know, um, so that means I'm not really that committed. So I think that uh, the, that level of commitment, you know, you have to find your balance of, of you know, right. where are you going to not suffer? Right. And how committed are you going to be? to make what you're really asking yourself to have happen, happen. And, and, and sometimes I think it even boils down to like a worthiness conversation deep inside, you know, uh, am I, am I worth mm -hmm. doing this? You know? Um, so, I mean, those are, those are just questions that I would kind of, uh, you know, try to sit in to, to wait for the answer to come and, and see if, if there's something there that's, that triggers you about that worthiness. And that's one of the reasons why I don't necessarily start a resolution January 1. Yeah. And nothing against that at all. No. But I agree with you in, in that you have to be ready. You, you have to, you know, want to do this. You have to see the positives in this. Um, and whenever that happens, that's when you jump on it. And to the worthiness i think that's you know your, your basic issue in all of what we talk about and in, in finding inner peace you know is the lack of feeling worthy of you know bettering oneself is, is i think the key to all of it because if i'm not going to have a good self-respect or self-esteem or i'm going to feel unworthy i'm not going to try to better my life or make it more healthy in any way because there's no reason to right so we really need to find and, and increase that worthiness and find that reason that my life is actually worth being healthy and better and then what am i going to do to make it healthy and better well and, and again this is like like all of these are stretches, right? Like if we're in this box right now, that's our comfortable box. And and to get out of that, you got to stretch. Like that's how we grow. And if you don't take the opportunity, even if it is something as simple as changing your diet or exercising more or, you know, uh, challenge yourself to do maybe like a 5K or whatever it is to get out of your comfort zone, to get off the couch, to, you know, to be out more 
in nature, whatever the challenge is, like that's going to help you reach those goals of, uh, you know, whether it be healthier or, you know, just a better overall sense of life and peace, you know, so we, we have to make ourselves realize that that's what resolutions are. They're the stretch. And so, you know, it's like a rubber band. Sometimes when you stretch that rubber band, it pops right back. Right. And it's going to do that until that stretch gets worn out. And then it's going to be something that you do as everyday part of your life. Yep. And, and, what I tell clients all the time, be patient with yourself. Yeah. You keep stretching yourself and, you know, making these changes in your life. And, you know, we don't want you to suffer, but we, but there is some growing pains at times. Mm. Yeah. But be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself that as as humans, we're not going to necessarily do this perfect all the time. You know, I mean, if you set up a routine that says, you know, I, I'm going to exercise three times a week at the gym and you catch yourself a couple weeks in a row going just twice. Um, yes. Okay. Then you have an added challenge, you know, get back to the three, but don't start beating yourself up about it. No. And that's where a lot of people end up stopping. You know, because they're like, well, I can't even do three. So, you know, why do I even do this at all? And and, and the whole worthlessness comes back in, you know, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. you got to be patient with yourself just because you're not doing it 100 percent doesn't mean you give up the entire, uh, you know, routine. Well, and, and what does Tony Robbins say? Right. Don't shit all over yourself. I yep. mean, and, and that's it. And we, sh we should on ourselves and we, we should on others too. Right. And so that, that can, that deters us. It doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't compel us to move forward. Right. It, it compels us to sit where we're at. And, and I, you know, a huge proponent of recognizing when ego comes in and that is to me that's ego mm. right is because we have yeah. ego has these beliefs that this is the way it should be done well i don't care how you cross the road if i cross the road different it doesn't matter i could skip i could roll i could you know whatever and you just walk across the street there's no difference you got there i got there you know uh, it doesn't have to be judgment it doesn't have to be right or wrong let's just let's just get where we're going yep Oh yeah, the the word should is banned from uh, my office and my clients, and 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 I will remind them when they use it. I will stop them and say, "What'd you say?" No, um, <laughs> yeah, because he's right, you're right. I mean, I, I think there were people before him that were you know proposing this, but the the point being is, is yeah, the the should is the ultimate unattainable expectation. Yeah. So. We definitely need to stay away from that. And um, and the other thing I always say is is what you just brought up is, is a non-judgmental. You know, that you know, I'm not here to judge anybody for what you're doing, not doing, or the like. And that's where I like to use the words healthy and unhealthy, because to me those aren't judgmental words. Ooh, you know, they're yeah, not good, right. bad, right, wrong. Um so, you know, like, like in, uh, again, if, if you're going to do the gym three days a week, you're only doing it two days a week, and now you're getting all upset with yourself, right, take that should out of it, yeah. you know, oh, I should be going three days a week, well, says who, you know, it's like, well, I said so, Yeah. well, if you said so, then you can say something different, <laughs> yeah, that's because if, if the focus is on health, then maybe your big challenge may have been just the fact you're going to the gym at all. Yeah. So what if we went to the gym twice a week for a month or so, and then add day three? You know, if, if day three is what's making you suffer, if day three is, is what might cause you to, to stop doing the whole thing, then change your expectation. That maybe right now, the best I can do is twice. That's still a stretch. If you've never been to the gym before, twice a week is a stretch. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and, add add the other day later. Yeah, mm -hmm. and celebrate that. I mean, that's the thing. We you know we go through life with such a a masculine mentality of you know it's a linear checklist. We got to do this. We got to we got to go to work. We got to eat lunch. We got to make sure we do that. You know and. and 
and you're not celebrating that. Like it's not fun. It doesn't. Be, it's a have to, not a get to, right? And um, mm -hmm. and so like little things. Like I mean, gosh, I craved chocolate all day yesterday, and and for me to not eat it when I really really wanted it was. And I have a, a pantry full of it because everybody gave my kids candy for Christmas. But <laughs> for me to not eat it, that was a that was a win. That was a celebration, right? Yep. And um and and it's like. You know, those are the those are the kind of things. Like, I want to pat myself on the back for. I want to I want to make sure that I recognize, like, look, you can do it. Now, now there's a new, um, like, you know, receptor in your brain that's telling you you can do something that you've never done before. You can skip over that chocolate. You can go to the gym on that third day. Whatever it is, just you know, take the time, even if it's just to be in gratitude of yourself to be like. I did it. That's awesome. And I don't need anybody else to be proud of me. I'm proud of me, you know? And, and that really needs to be celebrated. Yeah. And it's very healthy for that to be celebrated that for an individual to be proud of themselves. Again, we can only control our own thoughts, feelings, actions, can't control others. Right. So getting down if, you know, like, well, nobody else appreciates what I'm doing or nobody else is proud of me. Yeah, that's a bummer, but we can't control them. Do you feel that you can appreciate yourself? Do you feel, you know, proud of yourself? And, and that's really what's most important because that's the only thing that you can control. Well, so do you think that's something we should encourage our listeners for? Maybe a listener challenge? Oh. What are you thinking? I mean, you know, take, take the time to celebrate yourself. I mean, if you can, if you can find three things at the end of your day that you can celebrate, you know, whether it's uh, towards your resolutions or even if it has nothing to do with them, just take that, those, you know, take three minutes and celebrate yourself to be grateful for accomplishing those things or, you know, um, embodying those ways of being that you want to be. You know, maybe you were nice to the guy who got you off in traffic. Sure, come on in, you know, instead of, uh, you know, giving him some gesture that we all know well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so just celebrate those kind of things. And, and take a few minutes for yourself every day. I, it will change the way that you live. Yeah, I think that's an awesome challenge. And make sure you're patting yourself on the back when you make this list. And, uh, you know, share with us and, you know, all the other listeners, you know, what, what are those things that you are proud of and, and appreciative of within the day? I even think within a horrible day, there's still something. Even if it's one thing, there's still something that you, you can be proud of throughout that day. And, and it might be your response. You know, maybe you are having a, a horrible day or a lot of people are getting on you. Uh, your response may be what you're proud of, you know, that, yeah. that you responded in, in a very healthy, professional, respectful way uh, when everything inside of you said, nope, <laughs> go get them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I mean, and sometimes it is, it's just when you, even in your, in the mo those moments, it's sometimes it's just changing your, uh, your reaction that changes the entire setting of, of what you're going through, you know, so it yep. changes perception for you and it, it can change the whole mood. You can shift it in, in just that quick. Yep, exactly. And, and I think the, the other piece that I'd like to throw out there is, you know, if you do end up yesterday quitting your <laughs> uh, resolution, nothing says, there is no law, there is no anything that says you can't restart. Amen. So let's say, you know, you, you got to a point where I, whatever, it's too hard to whatever your excuse was and you decide I'm not doing it. I would say, okay, take a week, regroup, breathe, but nothing says you can't go back to doing it. Again, it didn't have to be done January 1st. So yeah, you can go back and, and do this. Yep. Exactly. Um, even maybe modified, you know, so uh, again, I mean, maybe you're trying the coffee thing every day and, and you figure I failed most days, so I'm just going to stop. Well, then modify it. 
you know? Yeah. So don't drink coffee like two times a week and then move it to three and move it to four and, yeah. you know, <laughs> work yourself up to it. <laughs> yeah. I, I tend to be an all or nothing kind of girl. So, uh, you know, I, I used to smoke cigarettes years and years ago. And uh, when I said I was quitting, you know, all these, I was, I was working for the military at the time and I was actually away on travel and all these guys were like, yeah, right. Sure, sure, sure. And I swear I must've smoked a, a, a pack and a half of cigarettes that night. And the next morning I woke up and I haven't touched a cigarette since. And, and they were like, Mm, really amazing. quit like all those years ago and I'm like yeah it was like 20 years ago don't tell my age but anyway um and the same with this it's like you know I do I have a belief that I'm all or nothing kind of girl so it's like mm -hmm. if, I, if I personally slipped and had a cup of coffee then I probably would just become a full-fledged coffee drinker again so um right. not everybody has beliefs like that and and I, mm -hmm. you know, I honor people like that I respect people like that because um you know, it's easy if you can do it every now and then and, and you have balance. Uh, if not, then, you know, then you become like me and you just go like, nope, I quit. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Whatever works for the individual, you know, cause the, as you said, you know, in, in that crossing the street example, it, it's as long as you're getting to that end goal. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're all or nothing, do it. Be all or nothing. Uh, if that's not your personality, then work with your personality you know what but, I love um, about us like about this podcast is that that i hope that it's not like we're telling anybody here's what you need to do to find inner peace i think that we open up a conversation for a lot of people mm -hmm. and they have the ability to go oh cool just like i want to try something new so you know it, it doesn't matter how i try it i can do it my way and i think that empowers a lot of people so i hope that yeah. it does for for our listeners and um I hope that you all are kicking butt on either New Year's resolutions or whatever you guys are doing. Um, mm -hmm. don't, don't worry. If people think you're weird, do it anyway. <laughs> weird is better. You know, yeah, you, you, you better. end up with a good story yeah. that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I have no issue with weird. Yeah. Clients tell me all the time, I'm weird. It's like, fine with me. Um, Give us something to Yeah, no, and... and <laughs> And, and we, we definitely, I, I agree with you that, you know, to me, there's no one set path to finding your inner peace and, and your happiness. And, uh, you know, we're talking about ways that, you know, have worked for us. We've seen it work in others. Um, but that's also why, you know, we're, we're always open to comments and, and dialogue and suggestions because there are so many people out there who found their own path in so many different ways and it, it, it's always great to hear how did somebody find theirs what worked yeah. for them Absolutely. and also what didn't work for them you know and how they got <laughs> over the piece that wasn't working for them sometimes <laughs> that's always what i want to know about it oh that didn't work okay yeah. i don't want to do, do that <laughs> but. yeah and, and I was on that piece. So how'd you get over that? Because there's other people who it's not working for either. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you got over it, how'd you do it? So we can teach people. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Well, awesome. That was awesome. I thought. <laughs> yep. Good conversation. Um, so any parting words on resolutions or you know what i yeah i would totally just say you know trust yourself because you're gonna know when it's the right time to do the right things for you you know and uh and it's okay to 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 know that even if you're on a diet and your body saying you know gosh have that piece of chocolate it would be so enjoyable right now then go ahead and do it and and don't feel guilty about it like that's that's uh that's a big one is just do it, let the moment be had, enjoy it, and then move forward. Yep, because you can restart anytime you want. Yeah. And one little thing like that doesn't end everything. No, so I agree with you. Yep, <laughs> that, that doesn't end everything. Um, all right, excellent. And I uh, just want to remind all of our listeners that we are over um, on Patreon if you want to uh, support this channel. Uh, you also get some goodies if you do. So we encourage you to do that. Hopefully you do the uh, listener challenge and let us know how that goes. Uh, we appreciate you sharing this with your friends. And uh, 
hopefully you have a wonderful and mindful 2021. Absolutely. And very prosperous for everybody as well. Very good. Okay. Have a great day.